Hello, I'm Xu Dong Wang, a Granger Institute for Engineering professor from the Department of Material Science and Engineering in the College of Engineering. Here, I want to give a brief introduction of our research. Uh, this slide summarizes our research and teaching activity. Our research is focused on nanomaterials synthesis and development with application focusing on biomaterials, biomedical devices, and bioelectronics. So this size chart shows how our research is covered. Our research starts with a nanoscale material synthesis uh, and design to control the structure, morphology, and functionality. We then apply uh, self-assembly approaches to organize these nanomaterials in a micrometer scale to achieve more scalable structure and property control. We also apply biomimetic approach to use a natural inspired strategy to realize large scale self-assembly of nanocrystals and to achieve design functionality. Then with this uh, materials platforms, we apply them to scalable manufacturing technologies such as 3D printing to fabricate practical uh, artificial biomaterials or tissues, uh, such as artificial blood vessels or artificial bones. In addition, we also integrate our materials and structures in a flexible system to create wearable, wearable and implantable biomedical devices. Uh, in addition to teaching, uh, in addition to research, I also teach several courses in our department. I teach an undergraduate course on ceramic materials, a senior graduate course on phase transformation. I also developed a course for our students to introduce nanotechnology and I taught it over many years. So here, let me uh, show a couple of specific examples of our research activities. Start with this uh, 3D printing technology. We developed a new composite material with built-in ferroelectricity. Ferroelectricity is a property that would show spontaneous electric polarization. We create this new composite with a soft polymer matrix and a many tiny nano ceramic particles embedded inside. These tiny nanoparticles are called ferroelectric materials. They have a spontaneous electric polarization inside. We can imagine them as just as very tiny, small batteries. This new composite can be printed directly from our machine. And we also engineer our machine nozzle to apply an electric field in between the nozzle and the supporting surface. So therefore, when the materials are printed, this electric field will align those tiny nanoparticles in the same direction. So this is, can, can be considered as we put all the small tiny batteries, connected them in series. Therefore, the electric output can be significantly enhanced. With our new materials and technology, we will be able to create this new three-dimensional uh, artif artifact artif uh, structure uh, uh, with high flexibility and built-in ferroelectricity. This means this material will be able to produce electric polarization or electric field based on small motions or small pressure change. With our material, we, uh, we built a flexible artificial artery. And this artery is as flexible as the real ones. More importantly, this material can generate, this artificial artery can generate electrical voltage when the pressure inside changes. For example, when there is a blood flow through this artery system, the change of blood pressure will be subject, applied to the wall and apply pressure towards, the, towards our material. Our material will respond with the electric polarization produced onto the two built-in electrodes. Therefore, this material will automatically sense blood pressure change inside and produce voltage signal that is linearly related to the uh, blood pressure change. This realizes automatic blood pressure monitoring without using any batteries 
or any other electronic systems. Besides, I think it's more important is our three-dimensional structure can very sensitively show the motion change of the blood vessels. Uh, this motion change is very important. It allows us to detect small uh, occlusion or small blockage of the, of the blood vessel when there's something built inside. As you see, when there's only 20% blockage happening in the blood vessel, uh, the output signal starting to drift from the perfect peak into two peaks. This indicating something is happening to the blood vessel at a very, very early stage. This new capability uh, will probably can save many lives for patients who had this implantation. In addition, based on the same technology, we uh, recently created a multi-layer metal structure that can be used as artificial bones. As we know, a bone itself is a piezoelectric material. This means it can produce very small amount of electricity based on the pressure it is subjected. Of course, bone itself is also very tough and not easy to break. Typical ceramic material are too brittle to be used as a bone structure. But our three-dimensional printing technology uh, used soft ferroelectric material and hard conductive material and print them uh, spontaneously together. So therefore, we significantly improved the toughness of this material at the same level of the real bones, while still retain this very high electricity uh, generation capability. As you see, the single stack of our material can produce electrical power to the level of 80 microwatt from one piece. And from this chart, we can see our material sits in the right top corner, which means it, that our material has the same uh, toughness as real bones, as well as a high electric output, uh, just like many other ceramic materials. This is a very good uh, property from this artificial material. And our as printed uh, bone structure uh, is as strong as a real bone. And it can also generate appreciable amount of electricity when it is pressed. This new material opens many opportunities uh, for human powered devices or even robotic systems. With our new materials and our new devices, uh, we conceptualized this uh, closed loop biofeedback electrostimulation therapy or CBAT. Uh, our uh, piezoelectrical, ferroelectrical flexible material, we call them a uh, nano generator, is able to harvest biomechanical energy from human body and feedback with electrical energy back to the human body as the stimulation uh, towards certain or desired um, biological functions. So this forms a closed loop to achieve many different therapeutic purposes with high effectiveness uh, so far, we already achieved uh, several successful results, uh, including uh, accelerated hair growth to wake up hair follicles, and also uh, accelerated wound healing. Um, we can reduce uh, the wound healing from two weeks into three days. Uh, accelerated bone healing as well. In addition, we can also use our device to interface with vagus nerve and communicate with brain to achieve obesity control. Finally, let me conclude. Uh, our research uh, focused on the development of new functional materials interfacing human beings and electromechanical uh, properties. So therefore, we develop new devices to achieve more efficient or more effective and uh, patient-friendly therapeutic devices. Hopefully with our device, we'll be able to bring a better life to all human beings in the future. So our research is mostly supported by National Institute of Health, National Science Foundation, and also internally from WOLF and the Granger Institute for Engineering. Thank you very much for your attention.